So we are still here at the first rest day of the Fuelta and we're mega excited today because not only have we got a bus tour with Caja Rural, we've also got one of their riders, Nick Schultz, who's going to show us around. You may recognise Nick's face from the video diaries that he's been sending over to GCN. So Nick, thank you for pulling yourself off the massage table and joining us here. Ah, no worries at all. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, I've watched a few bus tours myself and uh, yeah, I'm happy to, uh, to show the Caja Rural bus to everyone. Well, let's see if we can do better than Dan and Sarge, shall we? All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we are. Um, I guess we'll start with where the, the bus driver, Jon, sits. Jon is a legend. He does a lot of things. He doesn't just drive the bus. Um, he's from the Basque country, and uh, he even gives massages to a few riders when he can. Um, and he's basically just a jack of all trades, does, does, does everything, and, and he's an absolute legend, yeah. Moving through the bus, um, the front seats. Um, this one here, this is occupied by uh, Sergio Pardia. I guess you could say he's the father of the team. Um, he's got a lot of experience. He's done a lot of grand tours. Um, so I guess it's only normal that he has the front seat in the bus. It's a pretty comfy spot. Which um, is the best seat in the house? I wouldn't, but a lot of people would, yeah. I don't really like the front. Um, I feel like everyone can, can be looking at you, you know, you, you're right behind the driver, you get a lot of bus noise. Um, but... It's not the worst seat in the bus either. Um, so, this is the most important seat in the bus, naturally, this is where I hang out. Um, I used to hang out right at the back, uh, but it is very hot at the back. The air con doesn't really work back there. Um, so during the welter, I've uh, moved to the middle of the bus. And uh, there's one reason that I really like this spot. Um, people who know me will know how much I like chocolate crudely. And this is our, this is our stock on cereal. Oh, nice, look at this, chocolate covered rice cakes. Um, so we have all different types of Cruisley here, chocolate, this is the only one that really matters to me. Um, this, this is an essential on every day, not, not even just in a grand tour, this is an essential at home as well. This is a busy area, pre-stage and post-stage actually, this is sort of where all the food is, the coffee machine. Um, we have these bags pre-stage, so this will be this is like a, a foundation, I guess, pack. Um, so we have like little chocolate cakes, almond bars, ham rolls, little chocolate if we want it. And then basically we can just use our, uh, our sponsor, Name Sport, to stock up um, on extra products. Uh, they have really tasty, tasty bars and gels. Do you want coffee? Uh, I'm not going to say no. It's a bit late, yeah, but we'll go for it. I've heard dinner, so it's like, dinner in Spain's 11pm, right? Exactly. So it's like a little, it's a little capsule of that. Never actually seen them like this before, but it's actually got like a, like a proper spouse and stuff. In uh, in the hour prior to the stage, most people are hanging around here, and that's probably the biggest downside of sitting in that spot, getting a lot of disturbance. So when you sat here and you're getting ready for a stage, where do you put all your bags and your stuff? Um, in that little space. Just uh, there you go. Okay. There's a coffee for you. Sweet. Cheers. I like your little tea towel hooks that you have up here as well. I guess they never get used. No, I've never even noticed them. <laughs> in the back of the bus, I love a rear window because you can pull faces of all the drivers behind you. And they can't actually see you, I don't believe. <laughs> That's what they're talking from you. the outside, yeah. This is a really good little, little hideaway back here. Um, it is too hot though for the welter. Um, bit of storage. At the moment, it's loaded with aero helmets. There's the two time trials throughout the throughout the race, but that comes in handy for wet packs and stuff if, if we're in transit or just general, I mean, there's, there's eight slots, so it's like a rider each, but no one's really using them at all at the moment. Yeah, nothing much else back here. No little slidey door for the directors to have their own little private meetings back here? No, no, I have seen the, the space doors that, that change colour. Yeah. Yeah, there's none of those, none of those on here. Um, do, the light, do the lights turn off when you clap? When you what? When you clap? No. No, I mean, you can try. <laughs> um, toilet. So we actually have a urinal and a, and a toilet. Oh, nice. Um, our other bus, the toilet is located where that back door is. So you've got to, like, hunch down. down. It's, yeah, it's really, really small. Um, so a lot of guys prefer that, uh, this bus for the toilet. And also the shower. We have two showers in here. And this, these are really spacious showers for a bus, I think. Um, so we're always loaded with shampoo, body wash, etc. It's pretty decent, yeah. Um, 
I've seen bosses have four showers in the suite, I think. Yeah, I don't know how I'd feel about... I mean, I'm already quite hesitant to shower with one other rider. I don't know how I'd feel about it with four. So I'm guessing this is where all the DNFs come and watch the end of the race on the TV? It is, yeah. Luckily, there haven't been any this race so far. And there won't be any, that's what I've heard. And what's the general atmosphere on the bus on the way to a stage? You know, how, how does it feel? Is it is it loud, quiet, people moving around? Um, I guess it changes day to day. It probably depends what's in the, the road book that I've got tucked away just behind the uh, my seat there. Um, like tomorrow, it'll probably be a pretty good vibe. You can see it's already open on page 10. I think tomorrow's the flattest stage aside from Madrid. Um, All over 800 metres. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, no, I think it's... Uh, I think the atmosphere will be pretty good. Um, everyone's normally pretty chatty. Um, some guys put headphones on, I often do. Um, I think, yeah, we're a... We have a really good atmosphere in this team and uh, that's one of the things that I think everyone loves here and people respect, I mean, if, if you notice that someone's uh, not feeling chatty, everyone just respects that and if the vibe's good and everyone's uh, getting around it, then the whole team really just live to it. So it's, um, it's certainly very relaxed on that front. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed having a quick look around the Caja Rual bus and a huge thank you to Nick on his rest day, the only one of only two days off they're going to get. And it's not even a proper day off, is it? Like, you've still been out on your bike. Yeah, I did 25k today, so that'll be the closest thing I get to a day off in the next two weeks. <laughs> it's 25 more than I did. <laughs> but no, huge thank you to you. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you check out our other bus tours down there.